U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo uh, heading to China this weekend. She's the fourth senior Biden administration official now to make the trip. Eunice Yoon joins us with some of the expectations in Beijing. Good morning. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, she'd be the fourth since mid-June uh, this Sunday. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo uh, will arrive for four days of meetings uh, with U.S. business leaders as well as Chinese government officials, both here in Beijing as well as in Shanghai. The expectation is that she's really going to want to drive home the Biden administration's message that uh, recent curbs by the U.S. on American investment in Chinese companies is narrowly focused and is not meant to decouple or hold back China's economic progress. Now, the Chinese Commerce Ministry has said that they look forward to uh, Commerce Secretary Raimondo's visit and to have in-depth exchanges, they say, in trade and economics. Uh, the ministry said that it hoped to see, quote, practical cooperation. And that's been fueling speculation that there could, at the end of the uh, this trip, be some sort of a working group on export controls. Uh, state media have also been describing the invite by Raimondo's uh, counterpart as a show of Chinese goodwill. Now, I spoke with executives uh, with both the business uh, groups in uh, Beijing as well as in Shanghai. And uh, most people say that they're really hoping that this visit is going to improve the communication between the two governments, but also that it would bring some clarity and transparency around uh, the future direction of policy on foreign investment on both sides. Andrew? Eunice, help us, though, understand this piece of it. You have, you know, we just had the, the Republican debate in the United States on Wednesday night where uh, China was really considered almost like enemy number one. You often hear similar mm -hmm. rhetoric from the administration and from Democrats, and yet here are now administration uh, officials, and we saw this with Janet Yellen and others, who have a, who have a softer approach. Which one, which, which of those approaches do the, do the Chinese government look at and say, this, this is what's really happening? Well, that's one of the reasons why the Chinese government often says, as well as the state media, often says that the U.S. is insincere in its approach. Because uh, whenever we hear about one of these visits, um, at the same time, uh, the Biden administration will announce some other restriction or, in this case, um, some uh, d discussion about um, um, sanctions for um, Tibetan schools and um, for on officials. So from the Chinese perspective, it just looks as though uh, the U.S. is insincere. However, um, the Biden administration has expressed um, a lot of interest in having increased engagement uh, with the uh, Chinese and especially uh, towards the end of the year, uh, potentially President Biden and President Xi Jinping at a most senior level.